Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I've got some cool experiments we're going to try today. Um, probably shouldn't try this at home. This was really for educational purposes, unless you're an expert. Um, but potassium nitrate is one of the chemicals that I use for my rockets and for my gun cotton. It's a core component in uh, black powder, which upcoming videos will show how I make some black powder. But, um, but the potassium nitrate and charcoal are two of the ingredients of black powder. The third ingredient is sulfur. And so what we're going to try is we're going to try melting some potassium nitrate directly on top of some charcoal and see what kind of results we get. And if the results are good, uh, I might even try adding some sulfur in different combinations to see what kind of reaction we get. So let's get started. All right, we got our um, potassium nitrate, which comes in this brand of stump remover that I get from the hardware store. This is natural hardwood charcoal this that you buy for your grill, also available at the hardware store. Unfortunately, this sulfur is not something that you can normally get at the hardware store. Um, this is 99.8% pure sulfur powder. Um, I bought this on Amazon. So... But we're gonna we're gonna try just we're gonna first just try just the uh, charcoal with some potassium nitrate and see what kind of reaction we get. So I'm gonna pour some potassium nitrate out on my um, charcoal. And we're gonna get that melted with my little handy dandy butane torch and. Uh, I need safety gear, so I need to get my gloves and some goggles. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm a little, I don't really know how crazy this will get, but um, I did this part of the experiment before, and it's, it's pretty impressive. But when I add sulfur, I don't know what's going to happen, so even more safety gear. All right, we're gonna apply the butane flame and start to melt the potassium nitrate. It should start reacting soon. Once the once the, once some of this potassium nitrate gets hot enough, you just start reacting with the uh, charcoal. I'm getting a nice little puddle going here. Once the reaction starts, I believe it'll create enough heat to continue the reaction on its own. All right, I'm getting a nice little puddle here. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. It looks like lava. That was pretty cool, but not as big as reaction I'd, as I'd hoped. This stuff melts like candy. All right, let's see what happens if we add a little sulfur. Sulfur to the mix. Your um. Classic black powder recipe is going to be about 75% um, uh, potassium nitrate, 
15% charcoal and uh, the remaining 10% sulfur. So we're going to add, um, we're just going to go maybe kind of a rough 3 to 1 ratio. We'll get about that much. This is like your mama, your grandma making business. She didn't need to measure anything and I'm not going to either. We're just going to try a rough and tumble experiment here. We add about that much sulfur. Let's give it a mix up here. All right, so kind of a rough mixture there. But this is a, this is an experiment, so. I don't, I don't really know what's going to happen. It might be a dud, but this time we're going to, um, let's add a bit more charcoal. And we're going to drizzle this mixture all over it. See what happens. Oh, yeah. Much cooler. A much more vigor vigorous reaction there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Smells like black powder too. It needs more umph. So I know this is charcoal. Maybe if I break the charcoal up more. Wow, that stuff's really hard. You know what we could do? We could just go ahead and add some powdered charcoal to the mix. Because I have it. And of course, then we'll just basically have a rough mixture of black powder. An unmilled, ungranulated mixture of black powder. Let's go for it. Okay, so like I said, the uh, classic black powder recipe is 75% uh, potassium nitrate. Fifteen percent charcoal. This charcoal I made myself. It's white pine charcoal. It's for my fireworks and for my uh, um, just kind of a homemade experiments of making it. So we're going to just kind of roughly estimate 
that much in there. Black powder, black charcoal, and I think that other, I think that mixture before had a little bit too much sulfur in it, so a little, a little less sulfur this time. That's quite a bit. Now, if this is um, if this goes off like back powder, this will go. This will burn super duper fast. Which you don't necessarily want it to do. You kind of want it to burn slower and create lots of sparks and a cool effect. Let's try a little bit of this by itself. Yeah, a rough mixture of that. Certainly didn't poof, like black, black, black powder does. Let's get back to my raw charcoal. And let's add my rough mixture to it. All right, let's give it a whirl. That's what I'm talking about. It looks really cool up close. My charcoal is burning. I'm just going to drizzle some potassium nitrate on top. You know, it, uh, it's an oxidizer, so it's releasing all the oxygen that fire needs to burn. And the charcoal is acting as the fuel.